what is up guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a simple and easy card trick we're going to need four kings in any order and we're going to need four aces in any order this can actually be any number or queen or j or any number or letter you could use but you have to have four so you can't use a joker sadly because there's only two pretty sure there's only two in a deck i'm not sure so when you got those you have to take let's say you have these cards the other deck besides these two cards over here um split this deck in half put them two there it doesn't have to be even take the kings or the aces and put them on the back like this see the back and just go like that same for the aces put them over here put them on the back now after you do that you want to pick up these so this is the one with the aces. So you don't show them that there's four aces on the bottom. You just put them in four separate piles. Like that. I don't know if you can see them. Just like that. Four separate piles. So yeah. Four separate piles. And then we're going to keep and keep on putting these in the piles. Sorry, bicycle. Keep on doing it over and over again but we're gonna separate them fairly and easy. Okay, so now we have these cards set up, as you can see. As you can see, they're all set up. So you don't flip them just yet. You have to wait. And you take the ones with the kings in the back, or you can do the kings and then the aces. So, yeah. We're going to do the same thing, make four piles. Oh, you can see these, but you can't see the aces. Sorry, my knee's a little itchy. I just got bit by a mosquito. That sucks. So now that you have these, you should be flipping every single top one over. And there you go. You're going to surprise your friend and be like, oh, how'd you do that? All aces in a row? All kings in a row, as you can see, and all aces in a row, as you can see. So, as well as that magic trick, that magic trick's pretty easy. It's not that hard, and it's not its not magic, actually. It's just a nice, simple little card trick, which isn't hard at all, to be honest. Well, maybe not for me, the beginners. But I think it's a little hard if they're not, you know, they don't do card tricks a lot often, because I do card tricks a lot, and it's pretty fun when you're doing it in front of people instead of in front of a camera, but hey, I'm actually still doing it in front of people, but you get more of a reaction when you're in front of people and doing magic tricks, and yeah, so it's a lot funner when you are like on stage doing magic tricks, but I'm using my camera so you guys can know how to do this awesome magic trick, yeah, so you want to mix up the cards. I mix them up like this because I don't really want to bend my cards. So what you do is you want to let them go. That wasn't meant to happen. It's kind of hard when you have to kind of do it. It's annoying too. Okay, so anyways. So while we're doing that, what we want to do is we're still going. But this, we're going to do another magic trick and that's it. So we have all these cards, right? Yeah. And this magic trick, not going to be that hard. So, this magic trick, what you want to do is you want to look at the first four, as you can see, the first four, and go queen, six, seven, queen, six, seven, two of hearts. Two of hearts, right? So, this is when you're actually, like, first you need to shuffle them, like I just did, but I'm going to do them the better way that's faster and easier for me. Basically not easier. Keep on shuffling. You, the, the audience can shuffle them as far and more as they want to. It doesn't matter to be honest because you still, it's pretty easy after you shuffle them. You're still going to do the magic trick right. So, I'm going to leave that now. Look the first four cards after like you're showing all the audience. It's the J. So, now we're gonna do is we're just gonna like show all the audience and you have to keep J in your heart like J in your mind like J it's a J it's a J and you have to keep on you know yeah keep on like going through all the cards saying oh here's all the cards and stuff like that and then you have to split these cards 
in half like that not very even so I want to actually switch them like that so you would say like but before in hand before this trick even starts you would actually take these four cards and put them on top just like that so the four cards are on top like this five actually I don't know why I have five but before this trick even starts you want to take the jack of hearts and the, not the jack of hearts the J and you want to put them right on the top of the pile but four into the pile instead of like five so one two three four nope but five yep it's five so I want to do so I'm going to put that down then I want to put that on the J of hearts and then everything else so now we've done that we're going to exactly say so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the fourth card right here we can't show the audience this the fourth card let's say okay so this fourth card tells me that this fourth card in this pile will be a J so you want to go one two three and four J so that probably will surprise them maybe maybe not I don't know so yeah if you did like that trick Please tell me in the comments below, like that button, hit that like button, not like that button, what am I saying? Hit that like button and also smash that subscribe button so hard if you like these <laughs> magic tricks. So, peace out. Bye.